You needed rotating hands for a project. You hit the rotate button thinking it's gonna work, but no, it does not. So here is the right way to make moving hands. Let's go over to Canva and I will show you the correct way to do this. And it's really simple. So let's head on over now. So the first thing you wanna do is make your clock. You can make it out of a photo. You can make it out of whatever you want to, shapes, whatever. I'm just gonna do for simplicity. I am gonna do a rubber ducky on a circle. Do, 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 do. Uh, I am going to change the color of it. I just, rubber duckies don't belong on that color. There you go. That's a cute rubber ducky. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this circle. I am going to duplicate it and I'm going to move it over here for a minute. And I'm going to take my rubber ducky and I'm going to size my rubber ducky in all the way I want them to be. And then I'm going to group rubber ducky together. I'm going to sit there and I want to make my circle kind of almost the same size as this. So I'm gonna do that and just have it just a hair bit smaller. I'll change the color so you can see. And it doesn't matter if it's the full color. I mean, the, not the full color, the full size of it. It can be a little bit smaller. It really doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that and you can move this out of the way so we can work on this. So the next thing you wanna do is build out your hands Um, for my, I just took a plain old square, built out some hands on here. Let's make them some colors. You know me. I'm not going to get too fancy smancy with it, um, but I just built me out a hand. I mean, an arm for my hand. And then I took, let's see, shapes. I got me a little spinny thing to make the top of mine. Why are they all going blue? I don't want to be blue. I don't want to be blue. I'm sad and poo. Okay. I'm weird. I'm sorry. Forgive me, y'all. And, you know, do a little thing. Make how your hand ever wants to work. Put that there. And let's see, one more thing we need. Oh, we need something for the centerpiece. So let's go back. I got this little round thing here. And do that. Can you stop giving me that difficult? And that, and then you can make it any way you want to, any way, shape, form you want to. What I'm going to do now is I am going to group these three together. Click, click, click with the control key, group them together. And then what I want to do is size them to how I want to. I put it in the center of the disc. This needs to be bigger. If you're going to have multiple ones, you can. Um, I am on the free version, so this trick... You can only do one speed on here, but you pro users, you can do some work with this. Um, me, not so much. Um, I only, my speed is, yeah, one, one trick pony here. So now I'm gonna group them all together. I am gonna take this and I am gonna make it transparent. So now what I wanna do is bring my ducky back, my ducky back. I'm going to put this in the center. Oh, bring my ducky back. I'm going to position because it might be easier to grab this. Grab this, center it up like so. And then what you can do now is you can animate it. You can put it into rotate and there it goes around. And then, so I noticed if for the free version, you've got 20 seconds. So if you're doing a stop watch, 20 seconds is all you got here. So I think 20.3 seconds is a whole round. Let's see, all the way around till you get to the top. So if you're doing a timer for 20 seconds and you, if you're on the free version, awesome. You can use that that way. Um, if you have the pro version, as you can see, when you go down here to the rotate, where, hold on, come on, I, I want the rotate option. You can go down here go into your rotate and you can adjust the speed. So you could have multiple ones. So you could have like an hour or a minute and you can adjust the speed to it. And you could have one going slow. You can have one going fast. You can have one going medium. You have the options to do speed. Somebody on the free version, 
This would be good for like a stop clock or something like that. You're doing a countdown and you want to use, you want to use this as a, as a, you got 20 seconds to answer this question and this goes around. That would be good for you because that's all you got is 20 seconds. Um, test it, intrude. I did it and I was like, how long? But if you need more, if you wanted to go around more, if you're not going to, and you don't want to loop it or you can loop it, I stopped it right at the top. If you loop it, make sure when you stop the edge of your, your video is right at the very top here. And that way it should pick back up and then see if you duplicate the page, if you just want to duplicate that way, we can go and we can pick it up here and it'll look like it's seamlessly going and it'll just keep going around and you can just keep du duplicating the page if you need a longer 20 second blurb. But pretty much that's how you do that. Um, I wish I had, this is one thing pro would come in handy for me for. So I could actually do multiple hands and actually do a clock. But I think for a timer, this would be pretty cool too. So this is my little trick for the day. I hope it helps somebody or inspires somebody to do something really cool. And you know where to find me. I'll be on Facebook. Um, a link is on my channel page. Come, come see me. Hit me up in the DMs. Show me your designs. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.